Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass here, and welcome to Dismantled, a survival horror game about a twisted doctor trying to turn people into animals the only way he knows how. This game was also made with a Doom engine, so it features a kind of retro horror aesthetic. What a horrible night to have a curse. And also to not have a portable charger. And also a car charger. What was that scream? I feel like Retro forests with the how they're kind of claustrophobic or a bit scary. Maybe that's just my nostalgia talking. We found a wall. Vincent Heil, age 25. Blood type zero. Someone got abducted here. Was that my mole? No. What happened to this guy? What? What's that? Who's there? This guy became a going to texture. Oh crap! Let me free you, fucking maniac! Yeah, we ain't doing your salt roleplay. I'm keeping my, I'm keeping my hands. Whew. I have to escape this place. Where am I? These guns? No, they're just fangs. No clothes. Family kidnapped. There is a little bit of a vent right there. I'm a little... I find that a little curious. But I don't think it opens. At least for right now. Go right, because right is always right. Although it's kind of more of a straight, but now it's right, so it's okay. Oh, crap. This is horrible. We are in a bad place. Oh, my God. Ammo for a gun. Two more to go. of exactly what we need. More bodies. God. Door is locked. Do I need another key? Let's try going into these rooms. Maybe there's a key in there. Not at the moment, anyway. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. This is Oh my god. This is a lot of people be abducting. What is happening down here? What is this place? that door back there. Door's locked. There must be a way to open it. I do have a key. I'm not sure if I have to manually use the key for my inventory yet. I'll figure that out later. But first things first, let's go check out this other door and explore our entire area. Okay, keys are on him. Oh god, it is really dark in here. Pills here. Hello? Stick to the walls. Door behind me. Dark, scary tunnel. Crawl space could be loot or more bodies. Secret. God, this is doom. Yes, it is. We secret walls at some point, you know, just opening up. This door is locked. I don't have another key. Uh, let's forget this area fully for now. And I believe this game also has, going by the description, a Resident Evil style save system, meaning ink jets and. I'm gonna assume typewriters. Maybe it'll be Epson of printers. You know, a little more modern. A lot of weird chairs. Oh, look, ammo. A lot of weird chairs. I think it was a meeting place. Locked from the other side. Scary. If I don't get bugged out doing that one of these days. something. So we got steam over there. Can't tell if something's below me or not. Kind of dark. Steam is off. Now maybe this thing can bust open vents. Open boxes. Cause there is a vent there, kind of like the other area we uh, saw. It does, it does bust them open. Not sure, secret a place I have to go to though. We should definitely go back to the office. Bust open some things there. Also, this is really claustrophobic. That is a pit leading out to over there. That is not good. Okay. It's going a little too far now. God! Typewriter, though.
I need to murder her. I put her out of her misery. She was done for. Gun. I'm taking the gun and I'm going backwards. I'm gonna come back here. But I still have more to explore. Okay. Back to this area again. There's that pit. Let's go down the long tunnel. Go left first. What drill? God, did I make the right choice? What the hell? No. What kind of experiment is that? How is that even possible? Look, you get in there. So, yeah. Suitcase. Don't you bear at me. Are you super small for a reason? We're pounding. Experiment 125, test 02, gender male, age 70, named Glenn Coldwin. Moving hands to connect weapons, success. Removing legs in general, success. Replacing head with a bare one, success. Connecting Tommy guns to arm, success. Implementing eagle wing, success. Subject is awakening, injecting the serum, success. Experiment is a success. That's not good. Ammo. Get ready. Now here's the question. You releasing him up there? You releasing him back hit behind us. It's over here. Showers? Oh god, no. Even worse. Health pack to inventory. It's putting out our misery. You saw the state she was in. There's an enemy down there. Okay, here leads to the office. So we've made a hard pursuit. Oh, oh god! They've released enemies everywhere now. It's no longer safe. So I'm gonna probably use my axe for a while. I'm gonna save the gun. For, um, I can see where this event, see that's the where the other event was. I'm gonna save the gun for when enemies start having projectiles. Because if they're installing Tommy guns with their arms, you know. Oh, these people aren't as 
It's not as nearly as bad looking. Sad to say. Pills here. Ammo here. Alright. Back in this room where he was talking to us. Be careful. Key. I don't know if this is going to be like Doom where the walls start opening up. And maybe just start pouring out, shooting rockets at me. Rocket animals. So this was a dead end. So you just spawn animals everywhere else. That's how I'll call them. We need an I guess we just spawned with one. Okay, so we're back at this area. Lock from the other side. Keys. The key is broken in the lock. Oh, this looks like a trap. I want with the bolt cart, but it seems too high for me to jump down. New area. Shotgun. Door is locked. Load back. Okay, we got company. So I take three hits. As far as I can tell, I'm not taking damage, but I also can't tell. Yeah. God, they're everywhere now. You're two? Yeah, one's coming. Better to find him in the hallway. There we go, number one down. We've only found one secret out of eight. So that's a little interesting. You wanna go? Come on. Yeah, that's right. You're small. You've got small guts. That means you get the axe. Because it's exactly what you ordered. So what would, would happen here if you do not get the axe right off the bat? I'm wondering. One of them came out of this room. One of them is in one of these rooms right now. So I'm just not gonna... We got a bunch of them in here, and we got one right behind me. Control the crowd. Let's go! You wanna go? Come on! Just one of you left? Cause your number advantage is gone. Yeah, that's what I thought. Who's left? Huh? Yeah. 
Here, come on. Yeah, one guy hit on me. Two. Restores a small amount of health. But how many of you dogs are there? Hmm. Looks like a bomb. Some kind of password. Am I literally full up on ammo? Yeah, it's a hundred. So there is an ammo cap. I, I've been a little too conservative. Aha! There is secret doors like Doom. I mean, it's a Doom, basically a Doom mod. It makes sense. Secret. Damn. Sorry. Don't deserve to live like that. Secret. Experiment Test 71. Gender female, age 19, named Ashley Wilkins. Placed in the head with a Jaguar 1. Success. Removing both forearms. Subject lost two liters of blood, but remained alive. Success. Organic extension added. Mechanical chainsaw attached to forearms. Failed. I see what we're gonna face later. Subject died of infection. Press E to close. So they're already dead? Hmm. So we can kind of see there could be some more secrets in the map. You crafty jigsaw bastard. One, six, eight, nine. Okay. You wanna play a game? Come by, your brothers. If you can beat the entire level without being touched by the one-up mushroom, you win. You evil person. Can't let me go up and down. Have to start the very beginning every time. Magic. Lock. Oh, nope, it broke. Ink ribbon. Not used yet. I wonder, do you like puzzles? No. I like puzzles. No. I love them. <laughs> We love puzzles so much. No, oh, thanks for the additional ink ribbon. I needed that. Pop that. Come back there later. Won't budge. 
Yeah, these puzzles would be easier to solve if he didn't have flashing lights everywhere. Fence is locked. There are birds. I don't like that. Was that broken before? Oh, sweet, a lobby. Let's all go to that lobby. Plenty of ammo around, too. So I guess we just have to start using guns. I don't like the bear heads. I feel like that's like a new enemy that's got up here. Door's locked. All this ammo I can't use! Because that's too conservative! Curse of the conservative ammo user. Oh, you're going to use Alex, or we'll just hold that for the final boss. More ammo! More ammo! Hey. Better not be a key item behind that door. Gun kind of sucks. I missed some shots, but even then. Like, that's dead on. Let's see how many shots I used. Almost 20 shots. Even if you're counting the, um, don't count the misses. It's a, it's a bad ratio. Yeah, that's useless to me right now. This is locked. Not sure the point of this area then. Yet. That vent's a little curious to me. Looks like that's where we're going. So the other thing is, the, uh, I'll call them the dog boys. They jump towards you and leap around. So this axe is actually pretty good, because it just kills them in like three hits or something. Ink ribbons. Nice. That dumps me right there. People. Well, what used to be people. I'm waiting for the successful Jaguars. That's gonna be something. And that dumps me off in this area I saw where it's like, oh, was that open? What we need is that shotgun we saw earlier. That's it, we're going with the axe. Stick with the prod. Silent takedown, best takedown.
See what I mean? Like, they, they close the gap way too fast. Like, I probably could have avoided damage just by keeping the axe. And just smacking them. It's good for freeing out a crowd, like I said. Maybe, but even then. I've discovered that combining animal genes with human genes could cure and treat several diseases. Even if it can lend to death, I still have to try. Discovery could change the world as we know it. I must have a talk with George about this. Specific do doctor of the, uh... The island of Dr. Moreau. I think I said his name right. It's basically this premise. I've talked to George about my ideals on several occasions. Yet every time he fails to understand. And I'm trying to say, of course, he won't allow me to firmly explain my ideas. Nobody ever does. I must find a way to convince him. I never attempt at convincing George, but refuses to discuss about this anymore. Leaving my ideas impractical and unhinged. He's ignorant as usual. I will experiment on my own, with or without his approval. I've been working tirelessly for the past few weeks, doing numerous experiments with the lab rats, but each have resulted in failure. Nevertheless, I will not give up on my idea. It feels like I'm getting closer and closer to succeeding with each test, but then I can rub my success in George's face. The thick-headed jackass won't be telling people how much of a lunatic he, pr he prints me to be anymore. I cannot wait. I finally had everything working. The experiment finally worked. My plan finally came to fruition, only for my success to be ripped straight from my hands when George caught me doing the experiment, leading me to getting fired and losing everything I had hoped for. But I have a new plan now. A better one, in fact. And I can only tell someone will agree. First experiment using my new plan has been finished. The subject has com was combined with parts of a jaguar and was injected with a sample of Ebola and we made alive a day later. That just, the science doesn't work that way. The experiment is success. My research continues to improve. My friend George even agrees. He in fact will no longer even disagree. It was George, wasn't it? With me, his new head and arms look much better on him too. And he's quite keen on receiving more tests. Awfully nice of him. I'm glad we were able to work things out. It's a little weird. I guess it's a briefcase. You open the briefcase to get the item, which turns out to be the paper. I think actually did some decent damage. Alright, we're using guns and those. So vents are no longer safe. What oh, crap is so fast? Holy sh crap. Those things are murder. Okay. So we know these crawly crawly things love being in the vents. I don't know if my frame rate's somehow really high or they're just that badass. But they are not to be trifled with. So I'm just gonna keep my axe out and let him come to me. And just smack him. Okay. That worked. Give me a little caution again. But it's fine. They're fast. You can't back away from them. Uh, we might have company as soon as we open this. No, the key does not go here. Never fence. Dark, 
feels like I could have enemies here. Oh! Damn, I'm right there. Sloppy. Keep it in yellow. Bare minimum. Human specimen 27 managed to escape once again this morning. I've grown tired of its persistence and unleashed the most vicious creatures to hunt it down. Soon its body was brought back to me, barely alive. I was worried my creatures would have mutilated the body. I have no desire to use it for my experiments anymore. It will instead provide me with much entertainment over its tormented screams for months to come. Door blocked from the other side. Going down the long hallway. Still plenty of ammo, like, the pistol ammo's fairly plenty. I think one of those crawlers is... maybe nearby? Right here. Keep my pistols out in the vent in case one's here. Red key. Okay, I see where we are. It's the blocked off room. Ink. We may spawn enemies on our return trip. We gotta be careful. Okay, this key probably 100% goes here. Definitely gonna have company, so I'm gonna use my gun here. I don't want them to all like burst out at once, because I know how this works in these games. I'd save some ammo. I don't know if the big guys are enemies or just poor suffering people. Like, I don't even know what they was trying to make here. Sorry. Oh, there's a key there. Considering you take no damage when I swing the axe, I guess you're just people, like NPCs. Uh, we gotta be ready to fight. We're going. So we're doing not bad. We have full ammo. Still have a decent amount of health. Um, we are just shy of full health at yellow, yellow caution. Dark yellow is when we're about to die, and there's something weird down there. Those noises aren't comforting. What are you? You're not even an enemy, you're just... Horror. Of course they wouldn't let me chop you down. Whoa, buddy. 
too many at once. Got some good hits on me. Still an orange caution. Go, buddy. Still got plenty of ammo left. God, it's one of those little heads. And this area sucks. Shotgun shells. Exactly what we needed. This looks like it could be tied to that other area I saw that was locked off with the shotgun. Now we're fishing items. Okay. Well, good for right now. Secret. Enter secret password. Second floor trunk lock. Password required. Enter password. Huh. Come back to you. Ink in case you take too much damage, you want to reload. They're like, oh damn, took too much damage, too much health used. More ink. Sweet. I never get used to this. I like how the map, even the door opens, it closes. That's pretty cool. Secret? Don't know what kind. There's this up here. Whatever it did, it did its due. Somewhere, something, it did something. What? Remember this temptation of committing ones after another, the sins of humanity. On Day of Judgment, the demons will surface to devour the flesh and souls of the remaining humans on Earth. The war of the seventh trumpet will be heard across the heavens, and humanity will face the devil, ensuring their doom. The shores of hell will illuminate. Humanity will seek the madness, and it will be the end. Okay. 
and as secret as this. You're a lot of enemies. Two cables for it to work. Freedom. Ammo here. Spooky Halloween lights. Interesting area. Any more? Oh yeah, plenty. Let's go. That's it. Do this the old fashioned way. I kind of think of survival horror games, it's like, it's resource trading. You calculate, was the investment of going into an area worth more than the resources you used to get in there? So for example, I took a hit, but I did gain health. Now that one health is probably worth a little bit more than one hit, but it wasn't a great, huge profit so far. But it did allow me access to this area. And this area's freaky. And that. Oh, oh, I see. I see how it is. Which is probably both a requirement and should lead to an eventual profit. Possibility of being able to save. So we're collecting a lot of. We have six of these total. So they've given me a lot, which means either there's going to be rare later, or they're saying it's going to get quite difficult, and I'm going to need to save to make sure I do perfect runs. I have pretty much full ammo again. I'm going to say health is the most limited resource right now, not ammo. Uh, not till I get a shotgun, and then shotguns uh, become my main source of damage. Very curious, right there. I even see the light shining through. Well, I'm gonna come back later. I'm definitely not gonna leave that thing alone. But I will take... More pills. A little more. Put me in yellow caution. Be careful. It could be those weird spooky skull things. August 1st, 1962. My dad died a week ago from cancer. It's very hard for me. My mother already died when I was a baby, and now I'm left with an unlikable foster parent. My dad had always told me to always believe in my dreams and never get on reaching it. My dreams of becoming a scientist. It's so hard to move on after this, though. So. But I can't give up. I must continue for him. I haven't known my foster parents for long, and I already absolutely hate her. Earlier I wanted to get myself a meal, but I was yelled at and ended up having a book thrown at me after we argued about it. She's trying to ruin my life. I miss my real family too much. I cannot go on a week without this woman doing something to ruin my neat day with something completely crazy and loathsome. She has stored away my television set because I was laughing. 
but she not allow entertainment. I don't know what her problem is. Back from the hospital because of her again. She had pushed me down the stairs and I fractured an arm. I must have done something horrible. At least according to her, but what? She never specifies, and everyone keeps siding with her, and I don't believe a word I say. I loathe this woman, but whenever she does make it clear what she wants done, and I do it, she's much less loathsome. I suppose I will play along until I leave this madhouse. Better than her trying to get me killed. I think Karma has finally cut up with my foster mother. She's been very ill for weeks. And she's just out of the hospital and she has to stay in bed while I bring her medicine every day. Not that I want to. But I know they will blame me for her condition worsening if I didn't bring it to her. Maybe now I can do more when I want without her intervening. Don't fully like that area. Not gonna go in there yet. Well, that's the only place we can go. Can't tell electrified or just flashing lights. What? No NPC. As I hunted for more specimen today, the effects of my old age are becoming more apparent. Hunting on my own will soon be too difficult for me, especially for hunting certain specimen that are scarce in this day and age. I must devise a solution for this soon. Despite this, today was a fruitful day of hunt, and the shortage of dogs has been rectified. The scarcity of jaguars has been putting a damper on several of my experiments. I haven't been able to locate any jaguar in quite some time, and I have yet to receive any from Curry or my couriers. I will have to contact them yet again. It's beginning to run my patience dry. There's a locked door here, I won't budge. We do have a key. Boy, these are these are big maps. Doctor's office, wash house, dormitory. Oh, thank God, it's a safe point. And pills too. Pills here. And shotgun ammo for a shotgun I don't currently have yet, but we'll get eventually. Weird area. Equally weird area. Full up in pistol ammo again. Doors blocked from the other side. Alright, let's check this area out. We got options. Doors locked. I just really want that shock. Oh my god, there is ammo up there that is worthless to me. Because I am full up. Blocked, blocked. Not reassuring, knowing how Doom works. It's an unusually a large amount of locked doors. And that's the part that bothers me. Electronically locked. Very specific, I see. Also electronically locked. So we have discovered the upper level of this area. Well, let it be known, if I ever need pistol ammo, I know where to come. Vents. Where they may lead. Interesting or not? Hmm. Let's wait on that. 
Well, it's a one-way trip. We're going down. Useless. Or is it? Oh my god, it's a horrifying rave. Oh my god. I touched the barbed wire, do I get hurt? Yeah, it hurts. Oh god, it hurts. And we can't go any further right away. Okay, we're not going to drop down this time. We're going to explore this area. That is a forced drop down. But you might be able to hop it. <laughs> nope, it is death. Becomes me. Now, I have no idea why that is a death fall. It doesn't look like it, but it is. Maybe you can leap it. I just did it wrong. I'm... Not gonna mess with it anymore. <laughs> Shazam. And I'm gonna assume that's a death fall too, if that one was. It doesn't look like it. Like, it looks like I can bust out something out there, but until I'm better safe than sorry, I'm gonna leave it alone. A riddle just for you, gentlemen. Is it for entertainment purposes only? I need to keep you alive. For my or our entertainment. Even though my pets grow hungry and patient, so how long can you survive before they devour your flesh? That's not a riddle. Hmm. Then why was everyone killing you? I don't know. Because of the exact same fall distance. What was. Whoops. Plastic bomb. To the detonate within two seconds. Arr. Huh. That's a real interesting item you got there. Maybe for that thing, the cables and the detonator? What does a cutscene for the ladder? Okay. I see this Christmas land here. Gotta go for all the Disney theme parks. Oh god! I hate these rings. I hate them. They're like. Like super head crabs. Holy crap. We're still alive. And now, now honestly, they are super, super, super fast. Um, because when I reloaded and went to kill that one that's in the lower level, like you just shoot it while you're above, that thing is so fast, it almost tries to teleport up to you. Is that hardcore? Those things mean business. I think I will consume some pills. So that was a net loss area, unless there was a secret I did not find yet. And I think there's more of them. Yeah! That body. You would think the smallest enemy is the most... No, makes sense. Smallest enemy always is the most dangerous. Let's be honest here. They always are. You wanna go, buddy? Oh 
a man on a mission. This asylum has been my home for so long. It feels like I've lived my entire life here. It's been quite lonely for some time, but today is special. I'll have some lovely visitors for my birthday party, complete with a large cake and everything, and I have organized a little game for my own pleasure. One particular human specimen has tried to escape before, but today I will let it escape. Let's see how long it can last against the creatures I have also released. I even include some fun mind games. And in the way the key, this is by something entertainment. So go on and try to escape. Bring me all the entertainment you can. More ways than one. So I'm not too concerned about my ammo right now. Um, there is a lot of ammo left in the previous area. Like I said, it, it's mainly health from some of the lazy hits I take. Um, and the hand guys. Those hand guys. I see you right there. Weird. Ah! Yeah, we're about to die. Pop a full health. It was under the damn table. Still pretty good though in health. We didn't take that much damage. This is a weird area. I don't like being here anymore. I'm gonna come back a little bit later. I'm gonna see what's down here first. Keys broken in the lock. Oh, oh there's a chainsaw. That is. A Ooh, fuck. Okay, that thing is intense. That is the Jaguar right there. It's already got me in danger. I'm tempted to uh, not... I'm tempted to reload and do a little better. No, we'll live with it right now. It was... It was technically an even... There was a lot of health in there, so it was actually about an even trade. Weird enough. But that chainsaw did a lot of damage. And it was super fast. I need a shotgun, Prano. Okay, we got company. I'm not too worried about the ammo. There is a lot of ammo. At least a hundred plus worth left in the other rooms. It's weird. Even the food. This is a trap. I picked up some kind of item. <laughs> emerald, an emerald. Okay, I got an emerald. Oh god, I just died. The fall damage is stupid in this game. So I reloaded, so just a heads up. Well, I didn't really though I kind of died. Um, but I did it pretty cleanly, as you see. Because it's kind of like, if you know what they are when they're going to ambush you, um, you know how to prepare yourself and kill things without getting hit.